This is Twit. Yeah, so um, I'm actually, so I just, full disclosure, I'm not actually a Firefox user. I, I go back and reevaluate Firefox, basically every version they put out. Um, but this news, you know, this week, uh, today, whenever it was, or what, uh, that I chose to write about today, I guess just tied to 85, because like Leo said, it didn't actually just happen today. But this news about them abandoning PWA is very alarming to me. And, um, and I know that there's a significant percentage of people, especially in this audience, the technical people who like Firefox for very good reasons, and I completely understand that. But I feel like... I just feel like they're being left behind of their own volition in many ways. And I feel bad about that, but I think we have to just look forward. And when I look at the landscape of web browsing today from the perspective of a Windows user in particular, um, I really feel like there are only two browsers that make any sense at all. And one of them is not named Chrome, by the way. Um, you know, I, I also feel very strongly that Chrome exists almost solely to further uh, Google's advertising and tracking technologies and uh, that you should avoid using this browser. Um, Microsoft Edge is an excellent alternative. Um, and I'll just bring this up again. This is uh, something I reevaluate again from time to time as well as the uh, Brave browser. Um, if you care about privacy, and I think there's an, a really big segment of Firefox users that kind of fall into that category, you need to, and you're worried about where Firefox is going, you need to be looking at Brave. Um, Brave might be the new Firefox in some ways, except Chromium-based. That thing I sort of felt like Chrome or uh, Firefox Mozilla should have done about two years ago. Um, at least look into it. Yeah, the problem uh, is engines, right? So there's the Chromium yeah. engine, which Brave uses, yeah. Edge uses, obviously Chrome uses. Uh, Firefox has its own engine, uh, right. which will die out. I mean, if Firefox dies well, out, it's the like engine... the Intel thing, right? This thing that used to be an advantage is now the thing that's holding you back. Yeah, that's right. You've, you've, you've staked your claim to this differentiator, but the web is standards-based, you know? And all people really care about is that when they go someplace, it works. It works right, and it works fast. So now there's and, really um, two engines in the world. There's there's the... Well, three, maybe, right? Uh, Firefox, because of Safari. Yeah, WebKit, which uh, is... Actually, yeah, WebKit, WebKit is, is pretty... Do it's almost as dominant, frankly, as Chromium. Yeah, because of mobile, for sure. Yep. But there are a lot of WebKit browsers. What is Vivaldi? Do you remember? Vivaldi is uh, Chromium. Chromium. Uh, now as well. Yeah. So I should. I want to look at yeah, Chromium, uh, 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 yeah. WebKit, and then you know, Fire, and then whatever the Mozilla, what's Mozilla's engine called? Uh, Blink, I think. Right? Or is that right? No. Um, Gecko. Gecko. Is it was Gecko? Gecko. Was Gecko? Okay, whatever it is. But the Firefox engine. Um, I. I just don't see. Yes, so I just don't see them existing. I just don't. You know, it's. I. I, I have concerns. You know, for sure. <sighs> They're struggling, but it's right. funny. They still get, I think, $100 million a year from Google because of the default search. So It's like a divorce settlement. Yeah, Gecko. We, maybe, they're, I, maybe they're getting ready to go to Chromium, and that's why they're mm, like maybe. taking features I out. You know what? The, well, the, here's the sad thing for Firefox. Honestly, at this point, if they said, you know what? Things are going south. We can't afford yeah. to hire as many people. This seems like the, re the right direction. Technically, politically, whatever it is, unfortunately, of the people who are left that feel very strongly about Firefox, they would lose half their audience immediately. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If they said we're going uh, Chromium, they, you know, their audience, those people who really care about that thing that is Firefox, mm -hmm. a lot of those guys would say, "Yeah, I'm not doing that." You know. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. they would go, but. Right. Sleep near or something. I don't know. Sleep near. <laughs> I'm going back to IE 11. I feel like it was the apex <laughs> of the web browser market. The thing is, it's so hard to write a, a an engine, the rendering engine. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's so much demand that be compatible it's with so everything. Thankless. Yeah, that you thankless. really... Pro I can understand we're going to narrow it down to a, 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 maybe one or two or three at it, most you can't, engines. You, Microsoft tried and failed. You can't just continually yeah. try yeah. to fix, uh, to get to a point where the competition already is. You're always behind. Right. Always. Right. Um, and I think Mozilla is just too small of an organization, um, and you know they should know better. I, idealistically speaking, they can make a difference, could make a difference, right. um, but they've chosen politically or whatever to. Well, I think it's economic. To, you know, I think they're struggling okay. as well. Yeah. yeah. 
So, well, Gecko, I mean, if, if they weren't struggling, they would just keep doing what they're doing, right? right. And I yeah. guess you could defend that or not. But I, I two years ago, like I said, it, it's always, ever since Microsoft's made the switch, I was like, no, they, Firefox is making a huge mistake. I want a fully open source browser. Now, admittedly, the, the Blink Engine in Chromium is fully open source. <clears throat> Gecko, but yeah. all of the whole Mozilla stack is fully open source. I right. can't remember if Brave is or not. Um, I, I think that's. I want to support open source. I hear you. Yeah. Opera Opera still uses uh, Blink, so Opera's using. Blink. Have you heard of the new uh, Chromium drama? I didn't get no. into this in the web browser segment, but Google has uh, said that as of I think a month or two from now, they're going to pull a bunch of stuff out of Chromium that they f oh, are yeah, saying yeah. now should have the been syncing. there in the first place. Yeah, yeah. This related is, to Google Sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I have uh, heard that could be problematic. We talk about this I don't on think right now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, I. I feel like uh, you know Microsoft obviously has their own sync engine stuff. Um, Brave created their own, which I know because it was so terrible when it first came out. It was awful. Right. Uh, it's gotten better, but they they're trying to do sync in a way that is privacy focused and uh, you know it's, it's probably a blockchain or, uh, oriented because they're very crypto oriented. Mm -hmm. You know they're big on they yeah, have their yeah, own yeah. cryptocurrency and all of that. But this might impact. This will impact people who use like Chromium on uh, Linux, for example. Right. Because um, I don't think is Google, does Google Chrome is that actually available? Yeah, for Linux? you can run it. Oh, it is. I'm I would sorry. say okay. most Linux users don't want to, but you can. Yeah. Uh, I think most okay. of them well, use now Chromium. They're almost going to have to because, yeah, you know, uh, or they could use Firefox. <laughs> Firefox <laughs> is the, the default on all the distributions yeah. I know of, yeah. uh, except okay. for Debian because <laughs> they call it Ice Weasel. It's really Firefox, but they, they there was a whole that's funny kerfuffle. They like customize it. <laughs> they, well, because Firefox. Debian is aggressively community driven and some of the okay. some of the terms in the Firefox license they couldn't get behind. So they forked it and they call it Ice Weasel, <laughs> which I'm not <laughs> I'm frankly not a fan of. Yeah. Um, Brave is open source. I'm looking at it right <laughs> is now. Is that like so. the creature that was in the Ice Age movies, the little uh, yeah, the ice squirrel thing <laughs> that kept screwing thing up? Mm -hmm. 